Next comes the problem statement. You are going to tell the doctor you are unwell, right? It represents the problem in measurable terms. It should not be vague. It should not just say in the air, I am unwell. Well, do you think your doctor can make any sense of what you're saying? Or if you say, I'm having a fever, he will ask you, what fever are you running at? Or he will take the fever himself, correct? So ideally, problems should be stated in measurable terms. So if you say that there is a problem with a lot of errors in coding, you should be able to say there are 30% errors in coding or 15% bugs when we code. More than 5% bugs which are allowed. Okay? More than the permissible limit of 5%. So, for example, attendance. So, I say that in, in a class, I can have only 5% of people going on leave. If 10% of people are going on leave, it can be a problem. So, then... The shrinkage in the class is at 10% against a target of 5%. That can be also a problem. My quality is at 80% against a target of 90%. That is a problem. These are all well-defined problems. Where problem is defined in quantifiable terms. Okay. For instance, yield, defect rate, parts per million, sigma level. Our process is currently operational against a two sigma, uh, is currently operational at a two sigma against a target of at least four sigma. So first part of the problem statement should clearly, clearly say what the problem is. Second part of the problem statement should say, for how long has this problem been there? Over the last six months, from January 2021, from March 2021, this has been the problem. You cannot do a project if you started facing the problem as of 1st of August. No management will agree to let you do a project if the problem has been there for a very short duration. Only from 1st of August, if you've been facing the problem, you will not be allowed to do a project. Yes. So in problem statement, what all? What is the problem? Where is the problem? Which department where the problem is happening? What is the magnitude of the problem? We are at 80% against a target of 90%. We are at 60% against a target of 80%. We are at two sigma against a target of six. So where are we? What is the target? Both quantifiable. Then only you must fix the problem statement. Over what period has the problem been recorded? So from the beginning of January, from 1st January 2021, from 1st March, for the last one year, for the last two years we've been seeing. So like that, any problem which has been less than three months, we cannot do a project. Usually management will say, let us watch if this is going away by itself, let us not interfere immediately. Unless it's very highly risky and the moment that appears definitely means you have to do a project. But otherwise, generally for less than three months of seeing something, they will not tell that you can do a project, they may not agree. Then what is the impact of the problem? Because of this problem, this is the impact. CSAT is impacted, e employee satisfaction is impacted, sales is impacted, revenue is impacted, cost management is impacted. So all of that is very important to mention.